Hello and a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Test Books for Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well. Deri ni karte hue pata pata se. Let's just quickly get started with today's session. Good evening, Simar, Shanti, Simran, Kasturi, Shainbaga, Anjani, Sonali, Sujit, Suraj, Ishita, Anushka, Devashri. गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन देरी नहीं करते हुए फटाफट से स्टार्ट करते हैं हम लोगों ने लास्ट लास्ट वीक से ही आपकी डिटेल प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन की सीरीज को स्टार्ट किया हुआ है जिसमें वे ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर दिन बिफोर योर नेट एग्जाम जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बैग योर आप अच्छी तरीके से एटलीस्ट वन थाउजेंड कॉन्सेप्ट को रिवाइज कर सकते हैं तो दोनों मास्टर क्लास एज वेल्स यूट्यूब क्लास में वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट डिटेल वे में हम लोग प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन करें हम और भी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ऑफकोर्स पे कर भी ब्रिंग इट टूगेदर बट ऑफकोर्स कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी के लिए हम लोग ये प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पे फोकस कर रहे हैं आई होप आप लोगों ने सारे के सारे जो पुरानी क्वेश्चन हैं जो हम लोगों ने कवर किए थे वो प्रॉपरली आप लोगों ने कवर कर लिए होंगे आज हम लोग आपके पी वाई क्यूज करेंगे कम से कम ट्वेंटी फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को देखेंगे नाइन ओ क्लॉक आपकी मॉर्निंग में मास्टर क्लास है कल राइट टमोरो इन द मॉर्निंग यू आर हैविंग योर मास्टर क्लास अच्छी तरीके से उसको भी अटेंड करिएगा वहां पर भी हम इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन को कवर करेंगे गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग स्मृति बादल देवशेष अनुषिका गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई होप आप लोगों ने अच्छी तरीके से सारी रिविजन कर ली होगी ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन रेगुलर हो जाइएगा प्रॉपरली नोट करिएगा अरेंज अच्छी तरीके से कर लीजिए बिकॉज जितना ज्यादा आप अच्छी तरीके से क्वेश्चन को अरेंज कर पाएंगे उतना ही बेनिफिशियल ये सारे के सारे सेशन आप लोगों के लिए होंगे वर्सेज अगर आप अच्छी तरीके से इसको अरेंज नहीं कर पाएंगे फॉर्मेटिंग ठीक से नहीं करेंगे इन द सेंस लेकिन प्रॉपरली कॉन्सेप्ट को लिखना मेथडोलॉजिकली रिव्यू करना तो ऑब्वियसली आपके पास एक क्वेश्चन बैंक नहीं बन पाएगा टूवर्ड्स दी एंड ऑफ योर यू नो इंटायर सो कॉल सेशन जो हम लोग करेंगे ठीक है तो प्लीज इन शॉर्ट कीजिएगा कि आप अच्छी तरीके से इसको ऑर्गेनाइज वे में अरेंज कर रहे हैं क्वेश्चन बैंक अपना खुद का बनाने की कोशिश कीजिए एक तरह की रिपोर्ट कार्ड आप बनाइए और इवेल्युएट कीजिए रेगुलरली कि कौन कौन से टॉपिक्स आपने कवर कर लिए हैं कौन से टॉपिक्स में आपको सपोर्ट की जरूरत है नीचे प्लीज फील फ्री टू पुट इट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन ऑल्सो अगर आपको कोई भी टॉपिक में स्पेशल हेल्प चाहिए वी आर रेगुलरली नोटिसिंग द कॉमेंट्स एंड वी विल डेफिनेटली बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू आउट आज के फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से स्टार्ट करते हैं या आपका फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन है व्हेन डिड टीबी मकोले प्रेजेंट हिज मिनट्स ऑन एजुकेशन एडवोकेटिंग इंग्लिश एजुकेशन एडवोकेटिंग इंग्लिश एजुकेशन इन इंडिया आई होप यू सबको क्लियर है टीबी मकोले वाज एडवोकेटिंग इंग्लिश एजुकेशन ये इन्होंने कब किया है दैट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड सबका इजीली आना चाहिए गुड इवनिंग विफ्रान वेरी गुड विफ्रान हर्षिया दे आर आंसरिंग इट करेक्टली सेकंड फरवरी दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली द राइट आंसर सेकंड फरवरी 1835 अब देखते हैं यहां पे 1835 सही है तो अगर आपको सिर्फ 1835 पता है आप ये आंसर सही नहीं कर सकते हैं बट यू हैव टू नो द प्रिसाइस एग्जैक्ट डेट इन ऑर्डर टू क्रैक दिस ऑल टुगेदर ये आपका इंग्लिश एंड इंडिया के अंदर आ जाता है सो सेकंड फरवरी में थॉमस बाबिंटिंग मकोले ही इज द वन हु इज एक्चुअली कमिंग अप विद द सो कॉल्ड मिनिट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग डाउनवर्ड फिल्टरेशन पॉलिसी जस्ट एजुकेट अ फ्यू ऑटोमेटिकली टू पोर्टुलेट एडवोकेटिंग इंग्लिश एजुकेशन दैट इज व्हाट वी आर एबल टू सी ऑल टुगेदर और हम लोग याद है आज भी व्हेन इन द फाउंडेशन बैच वी वर लुकिंग एट हम लोग जो फाउंडेशन बैच में व्हाइट मैन बर्डन बाय रूडिया टिपलिंग कर रहे थे हाउ दे ट्राइंग टू डिफाइन द नेटिव राइट द नेटिव इज एक्चुअली कंसिडर्ड टू बी हाफ सिविलाइज एंड दे फोर वॉन्टिंग द कलोनियल इंटरवेंशन और यू नो द व्हाइट मैन बर्डन ऑल टूगेदर ये चीज हम लोगों ने देखी थी राइट so please keep that in mind okay moving on to the second question that we are having let's quickly move on to the next question <laughs> let's just see how many of you are able to answer this question correctly okay this looks like a little long question this looks like a little longer question altogether but if you're going to be reading it properly you would be able to actually answer it theek hai ye kisne likha hai very good wilfran that's right uh, it caught to be the first endeavor of a writer to distinguish nature from custom or that which is established because it is right from which is right only because it is established that we may neither that we may neither violate essential principles by desire of no 
nobility, nor debar himself for the attainment of beauties with his view of needless fear of breaking rules with no literary dictator had the authority to enact. Okay? So, here are two things that are very important. This is Rambler me Samuel Johnson. Right? Uh, so, Samuel Johnson is trying to tell you that, you know, again, you are stuck in nobility, hoti hai, uh, attainment of beauty. So, again, you have to be very true to your entire work of art. So, this is something that Rambler me Dr. Samuel Johnson is talking about. Non-fictional prose ko uh, try to make sure that comprehensively you are trying to cover non-fictional prose altogether. Gabriela Garcia Marquez's postscript to the general in his labyrinth, 1991, about Simon Bolivar's last and terrible journey to the Caribbean coast of New Viva, Grenada in 1830 is one of the finest examples. This is the finest example. Hai. This is the finest example. Ho jata hai. It becomes the finest example of what? Good evening, Gayatri. Good evening. Good evening, Bache. This is the finest example. Hai. This is the finest example of what? This is the finest example. Hai. This is the finest example. Hai. Okay, Sunali, Anushika, you people have started answering. This is the finest example. Hai. Okay. Okay, yes. Uh, so, so, ye, ye, ye cheez thoda sa dhyan mi uh, see, when, when we talk about this, this is actually trying to tell you about archive, the contents of the archive altogether. Inka jo postscript hai, or to the general in his labyrinth, right? So, Gabriana Garcia Marquez ki political writing, the general in his labyrinth, ye tragic story hai. Uh, this is telling you the story of General Bolivar. General Bolivar is there. Uh, he tried to, of course, unite the continent. Bolivar, known as the sixth Latin American country as a liberator altogether, right? A very important hero uh, that you're able to see. So, Bolivar's final journey hoti hai that he's trying to take, that is something which is revisited over here altogether. So, please remember archive ka importance in order to tell you, uh, archive ka importance in order to show, yes, the, the archives uh, is something which is very important. Latin American writings ke andar, you can add this because Gabriela Garcia Marquez ka Chronicles of a Death Foretold, ya fir 100 Years of Solitude, ये सब तो सबको पता होता है और ये लाना बुंदीये का जो कैरेक्टर आ रहा है 100 इयर्स ऑफ सॉलिट्यूड के अंदर बट यू शुड आल्सो नो अबाउट द जनरल इन इज लैबिरिंथ एंड रिमेंबर यू कैन नॉट एक्चुअली डू अ रिसर्च ऑन गैब्रिएल कार्सिया मार्केस प्रॉपर्ली अंटिल एंड अनलेस आपको स्पेनिश भी पता है बिकॉज़ दैट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड लैंग्वेज दैट ही इज यूजिंग which of the following is not a method of data analysis? Data analysis ka inme se konsa method nahi hai. So data analysis is also equally important. These days it's rather very critical. Data analysis has become a very important part. So data analysis in me se konsa is not included. Data analysis in me se konsa is not included. Very good. Anushika, no, I, I thought. Anushika, Zamar, everybody, uh, Devashri, Kasturi, Shabnam, everybody has got the right answer. Uh, right. So, qualitative method, quantitative method, mixed method, subjective method, data analysis ka nahi hai. Right? Subjective method, aapka data analysis ka nahi hai. So, ye cheez aapko yaad rakhni hai. When we are talking about data analytics altogether, data analysis altogether, so ye please thoda sa dhyan ni rakhye ka. This you will have to keep in mind. Question number five. Who has used the term bowling alone to describe the erosion of community ties in the United States? Right? Who's the one we are talking about? Who's the one that we are talking about? Who's the one that we are talking about? Good evening, Rani. I don't think it was there uh, anyway. Yeah, Sujit has got the right answer. Sujit has got the right answer. Robert Putnam is the right answer. Okay. Bowling Alone, The Collapse of the Rival of American Community, 2000 ki non-fiction book hai by Putnam. Putnam is the one. Robert D. Putnam is the one who's coming in. Uh, again, the changing behavior of Americans. He's trying to tell you uh, how we have become increasingly disconnected from each other. Uh, the fact that, you know, we, we are completely disintegrated. There's no sense of community feeling at all people are very aloof altogether so that is something that is being spoken about which of the following is not a kind of sign as suggested by charles sanders fears is not a sign as suggested by charles sanders fears these are questions important hai. um they are of course important overall that you're able to see charles sanders fears charles sanders fears 
डाल सैंडल पेयर सो नॉट ए काइंड ऑफ अ साइन ये प्लीज याद रखिएगा साइन के जो इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है आइकन इंडेक्स सिम्बल विजुअल इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट विजुअल इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ इट आइकन इंडेक्स सिम्बल आर अ पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट इज वॉट यू आर एबल टू सी सो चार्ल सैंडल पेयर सी इज अमेरिकन लॉजिशियन ऑल टूगेदर वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी के साइन को जो ये प्रॉपरली बता रहे हैं राइट ऑल ऑफ दोज आर कमिंग इन बट विजुअल इज नॉट एन एलिमेंट ऑफ द साइन दैट यू आर एबल टू सी विजुअल इज नॉट एन एलिमेंट who among the following was a major advocate of oral history oral history ke kon aapke major advocate hai oral history ke who is the major advocate that you are able to see of oral history oral history ke oral history ke who is the major advocate oral history oral history ke who is the major advocate that you are able to see very good arshia arshia is absolutely right arshia is paul thompson is the right answer oral history is actually associated with thompson he is one of the pioneers altogether a lot of people were mistrusting but that is why paul is coming in yes cases mein popular culture bhi aapka important role play karta hai that entire notes should be covered quickly properly uh, question number 8 who among the following considers a text as a site of struggle between authority and popular culture a text as a site of struggle between authority and popular culture right ye kaun bol raha hai who is the one who is actually talking about it who is the one who is talking about it inme se kaun sa is talking about it right absolutely right bakhtin is the right answer uh, bakhtin is absolutely the right answer mikhail bakhtin is the right answer side struggle between authority and popular culture so bakhtin jo russian philosopher hain right he is the one who's coming in and uh, you you need to keep that in mind or together authority popular culture how authority is getting contested that is also coming within the purview hudibras of samuel butler reflects the revolt against what is hudibras as a tire on uh, sorry sorry oh okay. See ya. So this is the answer we've already given. I hope it is clear. It is a satire against Puritanism. This is a satire against Puritanism. Hudi Bras is an attack on Puritanism altogether. Puritan attack आ जाता है. Okay. Come on to the next question. This is a simple question. Come on to the next question that you are having. This is a fairly simple question that is there. And ये काफी बार हम लोगों ने practice भी कर रखा है. We've talked about this multiple times. I hope you'll be able to remember this. What is the correct answer over here? what is the correct answer here yes francis quarles that's the right answer uh, so emblems by francis quarles is what right uh, so this is quarles right this is quarles that we are talking about so francis quarles ka ye jo entire work aap dekh pate ho it is a commentary on the biblical illustrations right it's a commentary on the biblical illustrations altogether that is what emblem is trying to do it is acting as a commentary on the biblical uh, aspects overall theek hai who among the following is the author of steel glass steel glass ka author kon hai who is the author associated with steel glass steel glass kis se associated hai steel glass is associated with steel glass is associated with who who is steel glass associated with who is steel glass associated with steel glass is associated with very good will pran uh, simar taran everyone's got it right uh, gas coin gas coin is absolutely the right answer so steel glass is actually by george gas coin right it's a satire in verse poem uh, written in hexameter abuses controlling personalities ke bare mein batate hain that is what you are predominantly able to see in steel glass right so david lindsay a satire on the three estates is both what a satire on the three estates a satire on the three estates kya hai what is a satire on the three estates what is a satire on the three estates what is a satire on three estates a satire on three estates what is it a satire on three estates kya hai a satire on three estates is what a satire on three estates is what a uh, satire the state is political religious in nature right that is what you are able to see it's political and religious in nature it is attacking the three uh, you know estates that are coming in overall so both political and religious dono ho jata hai who among the following has used the lines from shakespearean play othello to critique racism in one of his poems to critique racism in one of his poems racism ko critique karne ke liye 
who's the one who's actually using it and this is a very important writer writing Omeros also I'm giving it to you as a hint who's this person that we're talking about who's this person that we are looking at right Peacing has got the right answer Peacing is absolutely right Derek Walcott Derek Walcott is the right answer over here Derek Walcott jo hai, uh, Derek Walcott is the person let me see if I would have to hide myself no it's pretty much visible but anyway I'll just hide myself uh, so that you can see it a little better uh, so Walcott is the one uh, he's the one you know who's using Othello uh, again Goats and Monkeys by Walcott the Castaway and other poems by Walcott Aapka jo aara hai. and you are able to see that Othello uh, ka, ke andar jo racism that is something which is being presented over here. Then Walcott's poem, The Sea is History, makes a parallel between. The Sea is History tries to make a parallel between. What is the Sea is History making a parallel between? The Sea is History is making a parallel between what? The Sea is History is making a parallel between what? The Sea is History is making a parallel. So Sea is History is making a parallel between. What is it making a parallel between? What is it making a parallel between? It's the sea is history is making a parallel between. Yes, uh, absolutely right. Absolutely right. Evolution of Christianity and slavery of the blacks, right? So that is what we are predominantly able to see. The star apple kingdom mein ye aapka aara hai. Okay, so please remember the voyage and travel of Sir John Mendeville was written in which so again ab, ab, sir, wohi important hai, aapko pata hai ke, you know this is also work this is the work of the contemporary of Shakespeare you also will need to remember ke, kaha pe, kis tarha se likha hua hai. that is also another important category of questions so John Mendeville uh, collection aapko yaha par ye thoda sa dhyan mein rakhna padega what becomes the right answer Arshia has got it right good Ishita has got it right that is absolutely correct that is absolutely correct Midland dialect Midland dialect take okay? Midland dialect so Sir John Mendeville ka ye jo pura ka pura is the travels of Sir John Mendeville right again Midland dialect mein likha hai the elegy written in a country churchyard is written in elegy written in a country churchyard is written in elegy written in a country churchyard is written in elegy written in a country churchyard is written in Elegy written in a country churchyard is written in. Where is it? It's written in. Okay, so it is written in octra octranes of 10 syllable lines. Okay, so please remember that octranes of 10 syllable lines. That is how you are able to see. So again, the this is also equally important. Okay, this is also equally important that you'll have to keep in mind. Okay, uh, okay. Marge Piercy's novel Women on the Edge of Time. Women on the Edge of Time is based on uh, Women on the Edge of Time. Marge, Marge Piercy's Women on the Edge of Time. 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 What is the correct answer? Women on the edge of time. Yes, absolutely right. Women on the edge of time. Show them in five stones, the dialectic of sex, right? So again, women on the edge of time mixes time travel, story, issues of social justice, feminism also. And the book is based on five stones, the dialectic of sex. Ye gender studies ka Sholamit Firestone is a very important person associated with gender studies, associated with your entire oeuvre of gender studies that we have. Which among the following is a short story by the Booker Prize winning writer Gitanjali Shri? Gitanjali Shri. Booker Prize winning writer Gitanjali Shri. Good evening, Ravi. Good evening. Kalsi Hamlog Aapke YouTube class mein, along with practicing questions, we will also have a topic of the day that we will cover. Uh, along with covering questions, we'll also be covering, you know, a topic of the day uh, and an easy way to actually remember the topic of the day, right? An easy way via which you can actually remember the topic of the day, how that topic of the day is important, work of the day, uh, which you are able to see. So that is something that we'll be looking at before, uh, besides, you know, uh, covering the questions that we are having okay so yeah please yaad uh, yes absolutely right absolutely right yes Wilpran uh, some of the questions I have started including in the master class but I, uh, there'll be more questions that you'll be able to see Bail Patra is the right answer Gitanjali Shrika Hindi language novelist right uh, she's the author of course of the story Bail Patra is a part of 
the one that she's written women uh, of palestine and indian women are uh, in struggle what are they dealing with what are these works dealing with what are these works predominantly dealing with what is the dealing with What is it dealing with? Yes, P. Singh is right, absolutely right. What is it predominantly dealing with? It's dealing with female militancy and political involvement. Uh, even Hannah Kaju character here, my son's story ke under that also you are able to see that women are associated with that, right? Uh, so we shall return women in Palestine. Uh, again, you know, Ingela Bent, James Downing, you are able to see how they're trying to tell you about militancy, right? And women getting involved in that. Uh, the following statement is written by which of the following aunts, uh, authors could fulfillment ever be felt as deeply as loss could fulfillment ever be felt as deeply as loss could fulfillment ever be felt as deeply as loss can fulfillment be ever felt as deeply as loss could fulfillment be felt as deeply as loss. Right B is the right answer. Kiran Desai is absolutely the right answer, right? Uh, so this is what you're able to see in Inheritance of Laws, Kiran Desai. Uh, this is the one that is coming in, okay? This is the uh, the one that you're able to see. So please keep that in mind. Kiran Desai is the one who's associated with it. Question number 21. Who first translated the Bhagavad Gita into English? Who's the one who's translating the Bhagavad Gita into English? Who's the one who's translating the Bhagavad Gita into English? Bhagavad Gita is getting translated into English by... Yes, absolutely right. Charles Wilkins is the right answer. Charles Wilkins is the right answer, right? He was a member of the Shabbat Society as well, the founding member altogether. Um, important for his translation of the Bhagavad Gita that you're able to look at, okay? So please keep that in mind. Who among the following is exclusively associated with diary writing in English? Is associated with diary writing in English? On exclusively diary writing uh, is associated in English. Who's the one who's associated with diary writing in English? Diary writing in English. Who's the one that we're talking about? This is a fairly simple question. This is a fairly simple question. Uh, who's the one who's associated with diary writing? I hope it is clear. It is Samuel Papies, right? This is Samuel Papies that we're talking about. Samuel Papies is the one who's associated with diary writing. Okay? okay, moving on to the next question that we are having. Abbott Wogler is authored by. 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 Abbott Wogler is authored by what? <laughs> that is like very easy questions. Net maybe as the panchi questions are just very simple. So even if you've not studied anything, you would be able to answer it, right? And you all have seen that uh, in your papers. Okay, Abbott Wogler. Abbott Wogler, I hope uh, this is clear. Browning, right? Uh, so Abbott Wogler, Browning, Browning, Browning. Yeah, uh, karabi So when we were talking about Browning, we were even talking about it. Okay, so please remember. Uh, the predominant emotion running through the poem Christina by Robert Browning is that of Robert Browning ki Christina. I mean, what is the dominant emotion that you are able to see? What is the dominant emotion that you are able to see? What is the dominant emotion that you are able to look at? Christina ke andar. Christina, ke andar, there is a dominant emotion that we are able to experience. What is the dominant emotion that is coming in? What is the dominant emotion that is coming in? Yes. So again, please keep that in mind. It's love, right? It's love that we are talking about, right? It's love that we are talking about. So Christina, which is dramatic lyrics, mein aa raha hai, right? Uh, about uh, the love with a woman who rejected him and he's suffering from a broken heart altogether, having grief all, always, the emotional twists and turns that are coming in, which is correctly matched, which is correctly matched. In which the consa is correctly matched. In which the consa word you are able to see is correctly matched, which is correctly matched, which is correctly matched, which is correctly matched, which among the following is correctly matched, which is correctly matched. So Heathcliff is in Wuthering Heights, 
Maggie Tulliver is in Mill on the Floss, right? Josiah Bounderby is not a part of his part of Hard Times. I hope you remember that. And uh, so th this is what you'll have to keep that in mind. And please remember that as well, that how Maggie Tulliver is coming in Mill on the Floss itself. Uh, Fanny Price, uh, again, you know, so, so the heroine of Mansfield Park, right? Fanny Price is the heroine of Mansfield Park. Okay, uh, which of the following works has Santiago as the protagonist? This is a very simple question. We'll quickly cover 30 quick questions right now. Santiago as the protagonist. Santiago as the protagonist. This is very simple. This is very simple. Santiago as the protagonist is coming in. Very good. Very good. Jay Pontha. Anushka. Anushka, no. Ravi Pandey. Ravi Pandey is also very, very nice. Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, recipient, uh, you know, of the Nobel that you're able to see is, uh, representing America's indomitable spirit. Which of the following text coins the slogan, Vande Mataram? Coins the slogan, Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram. Which text are we talking about? Which text are we talking about? Which text are we talking about? Which is the text that we are looking at? Vande Mataram. Right. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Uh, Anandamath is the correct answer. Vande Mataram by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Uh, this is what you are able to see. Anandamath is the right answer. Okay. So, ye cheese please yaad rakhiga. Who among the following is associated with the term intentional fallacy? Intentional fallacy is associated hai? This is a fairly simple question. Intentional fallacy is associated hai? Intentional fallacy is associated with Intentional fallacy is associated with WIMSAT, right? It's associated, very good, very good. Intentional fallacy, WIMSAT, Birdsley, Verbal Icon, that is what you're able to see, objectivity, new criticism. Which of the following works is set in the backdrop of the religious persecution in Mexico? The religious persecution in Mexico, the religious persecution that is taking place in Mexico, the religious persuasion, uh, persecution that is taking place in Mexico, Kumari, that's right. Uh, Graham Greene's uh, The Power and the Glory. Graham Greene's The Power and the Glory, right? That is absolutely the correct answer. The priest who's hunted down in the rural Mexico. This is your homework question, a very simple homework question that you are having, right? This is a very, very simple homework question that you are having. Tomorrow, I hope everybody is clear. We have a masterclass at 9 a.m. So don't forget to join that as well. I will be telling you about other things also that we're planning up with all of you. Please feel free to uh, stay tuned on, you know, the Telegram platform that we are having. Both your, uh, you know, your uh, English literature hustlers, Nisha Ma'am Tesco, please make sure that you're there because you know, we'll be sharing all the details details also with all of you so all those details are going to be shared okay if there are any other uh, questions problems doubts that you're having please feel free to let us know so i'll catch up with all of you tomorrow take good care of yourselves and i will see you all tomorrow next uh, we'll continue from here itself and if for your doubt here for your problem here so do keep me posted about that fine thank you so much uh take good care of yourselves thanks so much shabnam uh zamar uh yes good night good night everyone kasturi shabnam zamar uh sujit uh, devashri kasturi Vilfran, anushika uh good night everyone thanks so much for and baga all right thanks everyone take care bye